Trying to drop it. Um, I have got nothing actually set up for it. Uh, you could always pop pop it into the uh, stockpile over here. Everyone in the Kingdom of Science can use this one. Yeah, you've got ba oh bannocks. It's amazing. Thank you so much. That will definitely help. Oh, look at that. Didn't actually check if I like bannocks. Oh, silly me. Um, oh, no. I find bannocks delicious. Yes. That is a chunky, chunky item to find delicious. That's amazing. Satisfies my cravings. How do you see what you're craving for? No idea. Right, well, while I'm out and about then, I'm going to grab some logs. And since she was so very kind to bring me up some bannocks, I will uh, bring back some logs for her as well. What is this? Redwood logs in Lady Shelab's stockpile. My goodness. Some scallywag sold them to me. I see. I see. Hmm. Do we believe Lady Shelab chant? How titillating. <laughs> I've now removed them from the store. Trading in hard in uh, redwood. My lord. How far Lady Shelab has fallen. Maybe they were ethically sourced from renewable, non-old growth redwoods. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Maybe she was trying to buy Avak off with bread. Those redwoods are bred in captivity. <laughs> Skooma, Bistec, Spice, sure. But redwoods? No. Diabolical chant. Gonna get some oak. We are now generating five point uh, fifty five point five experience. The base gain was twelve. Wow. Oh, at least uh, that was from food. The base gain of experience was 12 from food. We're ga actually gaining 60.01. Our next level up is only in four hours, chat. How long have we been streaming for? Oh, that would require a 12-hour stream, chat. I don't know. Because the thing is, I would level up, and then I everyone would be like, ah, oh, now show us what you can do with your new level up. You've got to do butchering. And I'm like, oh, I mean, I could, but... That is going to be a 16 hour tr stream. Need a bigger boat. A single oak tree takes me 
two trips. I've also got some oak seeds, though. We could perhaps plant some oak over on our side. I see no problem with this. I do. Yeah, a full, a full, uh, oak tree. Oh, it wasn't specifically oak wood that I wanted, um, bow, uh, bow type ever, but thank you very much for the offer. It's just that gathering this stuff is nice and easy for me. I just have to sail over here, chop it down, and then I end up with two full boats worth of, of oak to take back. Oh, do we not have the uh, the means to do um, to do the mill project yet? We'll see what happens when I upgrade my, uh, when I actually put in a kitchen. Kitchen might drastically speed things up. Likewise, if I could get a toilet and a kitchen and a bedroom, and maybe a general room too, we might be really speeding things up. Right, this first delivery I'm going to give to Shilab. And thanks for the bannocks. I think you can... Uh, to, be, uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. I think you can safely chop the small redwoods. Because they're not old growth. The big ones, they will never come back. The little ones will regrow, from what I understand. But the big ones, once they're gone, that's it. They are forever gone. It would take longer for new... Oh, uh, the, the giant redwoods to regrow. Then we will be playing the server. Ah, uh, this is an actual game account? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the big redwoods, they are generating, like, a staggering amount of the earth, uh, of the planet's oxygen. If we cut those down, bad, bad. Let's see if I can bring that info up. Redwood. This may be... No.
Breeze. Old growth. Old growth redwood trees develop over centuries, with some living trees being over 2,000 years old. And like most trees, these are a non-renewable resource and will not grow back if harvested. Uh, I think it, that there is a way for you to show how much oxygen they produce. But... Is this kind of second-hand info? But no, apparently there is no chance they will not regrow because we, we'd be looking at times over the course of centuries, which makes sense. That would be a very long time to have the server running for. Maybe a little bit too long. Never tried this before. Let me, oh, it's horrible. Oh, thank goodness. I dislike eating the tallow. There we go. Now I know. That actually, that really pulled my, uh, my bonus down. <laughs> God damn. That was a bit rough. Yeah, that's brought it back up, I think. Yeah, it has. I'll sell this tallow to Shelab. I almost got my next level. Back over to collect the oak. I mean, considering you go from Neolithic to frickin' space lasers in less than 30 days, I'm assuming some timey-wimey shenanigans. Ah, fair. Okay. We'll be able to collect the logs that are just ahead of us. Yep, boats have indeed been added. The other thing is the higher your experience gain, because it's used as a modifier for the gaining experience in any other field, the faster you will you will uh, progress. So as you saw there, I got a little bit of um, experience from hunting, but it was multiplied by my experience gain modifier, which is currently 60.7. Yeah. 
You need to, some external lighting for outside the government building. 28 days, 11 hours, and 11 minutes and 57 seconds. Grab 20 of those. The next time I receive funding, I'm interested in picking this up, says Weird Morningstar. I'm interested in seeing what this is like as part of a community. Well, I mean, we if it takes you a little while to pick up the game, don't worry. We seem to play this fairly regularly, honestly. It seems to be a game that, that uh, does the rounds. That's how you collect things from your boat. You chop it with your stone axe. You force the boat into submission. After which, it will make available its juicy, juicy loot. Right, I would rather seriously like some... Oh, can I use these as high quality board, useful, long lasting furniture? Oh, furniture. Fair enough. Uh, hewn logs though. Let's go ahead and produce a, a decent amount of these. Got one good gathering's worth. I think I can go chop down another oak. Oh, one of my crab pots is finished. Fantastic. Ugh, it's taking me so much time to get the hewn logs. <laughs> I really didn't appreciate how much was used in each one of those crab pots, but if there are anything as productive as the uh, fishing traps, it's going to be amazing. Enderia says, in perfect conditions, a redwood tree will grow about two to six feet per year. And 50 to 100 year old trees can grow to 100 feet or 200 feet. So you could, at best conditions, get an old growth redwood in about two centuries. I'll have to just take the numbers at your word on that one, but that sounds amazing. Like the scale of the redwoods, not the length of time it takes them to grow, though even that, you know, growing that big in a mere two centuries? My lord. Just think, Chet, how long it took you to grow six feet? These do it in a year, in perfect conditions. Or in suboptimal conditions, they'll do it in three. To be fair, we're going from paleo, uh, Paleolithic to near future. So 30 days in this is more like a thousand. <laughs> uh, true. Uh, I suspect I'll have to pick up two copies. If I join a server presented by you without them, I'm in trouble. I only found out about you because of them. Your partner, right. <laughs> Confused.com. So 
So you know how I said I think my axe is going to be okay to chop down a, an oak? Maybe I was overestimating. Let's just chop the whole tree. I don't know what it is about games that allow you to cut up the tree after you've uh, logged it. But it's so cathartic. And there we are. There. It took me two decades to get to six feet. I know, right? The tree is showing off. I don't know how people grew grow six feet. I only grew two. <laughs> Bob soon well played. I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> oh, that has tickled me. Well done. Dismembering a tree is so satisfying, big agree. Why do you have to put it like that? I mean, even if it's true. Also, I kind of need to eat. Um, let's go for something a bit fatty. Yeah, let's go for double fat there. And now I'm going to gobble down these delicious morsels. Up to 61.1 skill points. Cheesy Gubbins! Hey, Sang, how you doing, mate? You still up or have you gotten up? T minus 14 minutes until riot! Chat, chat, I've been streaming for nine hours. I think when we reach the next tea break, which is in about 30 minutes, actually, that's where we're going to wrap up the stream for tonight. I have awoken from my slumber. That is a pretty epic way of saying that. There we go, and whoop. All right, let's go get all of this up there, and I'm going to bring the crab pots down once I'm done. We can set those up. I've still got to go back for another um, set of, uh, sorry, to collect the uh, remaining oak, but it should be good. Eh. Pop these in here. Yep. 
Actually, I may as well collect the crab pots or two. Uh, where did they go? Or at least one of them has been completed. Oh, maybe none of them have been completed. I thought it said that it had. I was sure it had said that it had. Yeah, because I s set a number of them to be made. Oh, no. Crafting one of four. Yeah, okay, fair enough. All right, let's go and grab the uh, remaining. I was expecting to be able to deploy the crab pots. Big sad. I'm going to be honest, the passive fishing skill game for hunters is kind of wild. Maybe a little bit too wild. Uh, human logs. Yep. Thank goodness I bounce. That being said, I mean, it's a basic skill, so, I mean, you get crazy amounts of experience with logging as well. Does the server stay open outside of streams? Yep. Yep, it's a 24-7 server. Wish there was a little bit more music, especially on... Does anyone see me... Oh, I forget the name of the game now. But uh, there was a game where you kind of trained monkeys to help you um, build and craft and such, and gather and solve dungeon puzzles. The music when you got in the boat in that game was so extraordinary. Survivalist, thank you so much, um, Sorenthar. Uh, Sorenthar, a little bit. Sorenthra. Hopefully I said that right the like fifth time. But uh the music in the boats in that game was so incredibly relaxed and chill. I would love something like that here. It was it's kinda like Valheim. You get in the boat in Valheim and it just feels amazing. No, the day night cycle is um based in game, purely in game. The day and the night moves much, much further. Uh, much faster than uh, real life. But thank you so much for remembering that, uh, Sarenthra. To be fair, a single oak tree gets me enough wood to do... Uh, a single oak tree gets me enough wood to do about... 40... ...hewn logs. Something around that. Problem. Have it in my library. Never played it though. Just knew as soon as you said about training monkeys. It's actually a really fun game. A really fun game. Who be that?
Hit shadow. Henry Cat just sold three hundred and ninety five something. Hello. That is a very, very brightly colored shirt. I greatly approve. Is there boat collision? Uh, I don't know. Shadow, if you want to, you can sail into the side of my boat and see. But let's get to shore first. Because I'd rather not lose all of these oak logs. <laughs> speed <laughs> yep thanks BT is uh, selling some quality goods they I think they just sold an ice box It is absolutely worth getting those, by the way. Because that is how we are going to level up quickly. Okay. Right. And you missed. Wow. You missed in front of the whole internet, Shadow. So hard. Laggy. Mm hmm. Lag. I see. That old chestnut, eh? You ever wonder how dense the planet has to be for there to be a very visible curve of the, on the horizon and also maintain atmosphere and gravity on a small planet? I, I mean, I hadn't really considered it, no. Uh, but I am considering it now. Yep, there is collision. Does it damage things? The little prince is unavailable for comment. Here we go. Drop some of these off and then get a bunch more items on the go. Have we finished over here? What are you missing? Oh, yeah, we're just missing that. Right, so we have finished then, so I can set all of those up. Get them being made. Hewn logs. I have a, a bit of a munch, I think. Yep. Decent munch. Hey, Rigel's light. This button just doesn't go away, apparently. <laughs> Thank you very much for the two months. Second month, a best month. Thank you very much, mate. Right, okay, so. All of our hewn logs are going to continue to be fed into the production of our crab pots but you know what i'm kind of okay with that for the set for the time being i there is a part of me that wishes it wouldn't just because it is of course 
taken away from my ability to actually do a lot of things. Um, my stomach is full. But it'll do for now. Uh, um, you know what? I think we're going to do a little bit of hunting. That is a dead bison. Best hunter. Look at how quickly I took out that that animal. It's it's all gone. Seconds. This one, by comparison, quite difficult. And we got level up. Level four achieved. Uh, oh, apparently, self improvement speciality has gone up as well. So let's check that out. So self improvement level. Oh, we're almost level two. That will, um, self improvement level two bonus calorie reduction across everything. Both the amount of weight the citizens can carry and their stomach capacity. It also decreases the calories expended when using hammers and shovels. Experience is gained when leveling up other specialities. Uh, we are not far away from level three. That is going to be huge. But there we are. Level four in hunting. Which means I can now technically make these. Which are... Uh, Living room, hugely valuable furnishings. Okay. Well, that's definitely something that I can... Uh, I can sell at my shop if I can start producing those. It's absolutely going to be valuable to everyone, including me. Headshot and butt shot. Wait, is now. Have you killed that bison? You did. I will accept. Thank you very much. Cool. I used to play this game many years ago, said uh, Seika Mateus. Well, it has recently had a fairly considerable update which is brought in boats along with a lot of changes to how land claims work how governance works this is uh, our local government uh, if you were playing this a good long while ago uh, then oh it's not showing up for us uh, it's probably just not updated there we are this is these are the governing Areas. Yeah. So we've got three governing, uh, it's kind of like townships currently. Uh, who's our current Mason Aspo type? If I, I'm not entirely sure on that one, I'm afraid. Let's get all of those being. Uh, producing the tallow for me. Let's grab the second cat crab pot. We're going to take that down and set it up. I'm assuming these will work down here. I could be wrong. We'll see. Let's go check my uh, my fish traps over the lake. So we they say the addition of boats, they've added uh, a boatload of content. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. But yes. 
Uh, <laughs> but yes, they, they most certainly have, yeah. Um, though the governance has probably further reaching effects, I would say. See the uh, have these while I'm running through. Right, chop chop. Apparently, someone is achieving something. Oh, there we go. L loads of fish. It's expensive to have all of these, but my lord, are they paying me back with the uh, experience gain I've got right now? Hold, hold. There we go. No, not dead. There we go. Oops, I do. Sounds for all the world like someone's up to something. How, Fox? How did you survive with an arrow in your head? That's pretty much my full inventory. Yeah. We're currently generating 61.3 experience per tick. I wasn't already a knee deep in a, in a in the old RuneScape binge. This seems like a neat game to try. It is super fun with a big community server. It is absolutely fantastic when you've got a bunch of people all joining together. I may as well grab these as well since I'm around. Oh, I'm near Nightbat's area. Like. Does this game simulate the ecosystem as in overhunting? Cause yes. Yes, it absolutely does. It absolutely does, yeah. That's why you should try and hunt uh, in a balanced way in regards to um, predators and prey. Because if you leave them uh, off balance, then that's going to have far-reaching effects in the future as well. Got loads of fish there. Don't know how it works with fish though, I'm gonna be honest. That that is actually a, a good question. Let's wait for that to go through. Dunk. Dry fish, have I got. Uh, we're still going strong on the dry fish. No Steam reviews complaining about few servers in community. What's your experience in finding big, decent servers? Well, I'm going to be perfectly honest. My experience is going to be very different from your average player. And there's no real way for me to give you an unbiased uh, review of how easy that would be to do because as a content creator i kind of bring my own community with me so when we spool up a server there's instantly a large population for us to play with um but i do know that a couple of people in the in the uh in the community like when we're not playing with something like this uh, when we haven't got our own server up and running, or, or just that they want to play more than than others are, or that you know they, we don't like run back to back eco servers, uh, they'll quite often if there's interest, it'll they'll be around long 
outside when I'm actually streaming it. Um, because we tend to run like 24-7 servers for a period of time, then, you know, I'll play for a uh, for a session from the start of uh, a new update or something until we defeat the Meteor. But then beyond that, I know that some in the community will go out and will just jump in random servers. So it doesn't seem too difficult from the way they've talked about it. But again, I can't I can't actually tell you myself. Sorry about that. What have we got in here? Is it possible to farm livestock? Uh, I'm not sure about that one. I genuinely don't know if there's any kind of uh, domestication with that. Oh, we got two tiny and one small. Let's get that one. Goes All right. Uh, well, the plan was to dig all the way back here, but looking at the time, we're about to to wrap up the stream, I'm afraid, peeps. Do I have enough time to do one more tree run? I very, very seriously doubt it. So I'm going to say a big nope on that one. Uh, is it possible that there might be some trees up top that I could chop down and bring down here? Certainly we're not going to get the kind of um, return on a that we've been seeing with the oak trees. But there may be some non-redwoods around that I could quickly lumber that are near my house. Nope, 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 nope. To be fair, it looks like our forest is... Oh, no, here we are. But it does kind of feel like, at this point, our forest is, is like 80% massive redwoods. Because it's the only tree that people aren't chopping down. My axe is almost broken, though. Timber! Well, you're more than welcome to join the server. Anyone who would like to join, you just need to hop on the Dapper Delta Discord, and you can find the uh, server info in the gaming forum. Log is not ready for harvest. What do you mean, log is not ready for harvest? Ah, ah, bloody axe. Okay, let me go and ca uh, cart all this back. But yeah, you can find the uh, server details in the community servers post on the forum. In the gaming lounge channel. Uh, the game has its own browser of public servers that people run, uh, which you can filter down by various parameters. In fact, it actually tries to steer you to those rather than playing your own game on start. Yeah. Monocultures are bad, yes. Very much so. Single... Uh, parasite or disease will wipe out the entire thing. Right, repair. I need to repair you. There you go. Job's a good one. Uh, the game, I believe, is on a, uh, a hefty discount at the moment. Oh, wait. No. The tree I chopped is up. There you go. Damn it. Have to go back down there now. Even if I'm catching the tail end, I appreciate the stream, Eric. Oh, thank you very much. That's lovely of you to say. 
Are these new things for update 10? Um, what are you talking about, Azure Storm? What things? Oh, looking for the O2 CO2 stuff. Uh, well, like I said, it was it was like the second or third hand information that I was getting the that the uh, large redwoods were the larger O2 producers. But I seem to recall something that uh, Balanir uh, was showing. Like I went into a graph showing all of that information. I will have to ask him. In fact, after the stream, I will also look it up myself. Dig around a little bit. Okay, so with that done. Should be able to get some hewn logs made. Great deal, but a couple. Crafting, hewn logs. Now, I'm making these far less efficiently than a carpenter would. Like, they would be getting more hewn logs out of each log that goes into it. And they would be getting it for significantly less calories. Sadly, it doesn't look like we're going to be setting up a second, much less a third bedroom for this stream, but should be uh, we should be at least at the next level by the next stream. Probably long before it, honestly. So I might get a couple of things done off camera. Wow, Lady Shiab's place is just all chests. That's, that's fantastic. All about the cooking. But we will uh, probably... Yeah, I'll probably have, have taken the skill because I am going to be taking butchering, so everyone knows where that's going. Uh, after that, I'm not sure where I'm going to be going with, with it, but I'm probably going to be going into gathering, I'm thinking. It kind of makes sense. For a while I'm out and about to pick that sort of th stuff up. Um, there's nothing else that really jumps out at me as something I want to go for. And I feel that they all go together. The only exception is maybe tailoring. Because then I would have all of the skills kind of linked in the same place. Because I'd be using the hides that I was making. But I don't know. Hunting, butchering and gathering... You know, out and about whilst wandering and, and hunting animals, gathering, it seems like something I could very easily do. Whereas tailoring is even a further step on from hunting, because then you're using the furs to make stuff, but I'd have to be purchasing the, the cotton and the likes. It might still be useful, though. When's the next stream? Um, I'm probably going to be streaming Station Ears next. Uh, so, uh, this will probably be in a couple of days. That being said, I mean, I'm really into it right now. So, uh, we'll see. We will see where things go. But uh, off camera, I will likely finish uh, cutting out the area around my new... Oh, 
my house. I just I think I Goomba stomped Night Rat. Uh, and then from there, I'm probably just going to drive this back and just form a room and throw in a like a kitchen. Maybe make it two small rooms and have a kitchen and a, and a bathroom and then keep this as my bedroom. We'll see. Uh, alternatively, just turn this into a little bit of a shop so I'm just accruing uh, currency and... Uh, well, not my currency, but uh, materials that I need uh, for production. Um, likely, we'll be setting up a butchering table. But for the most part, just going to be uh, you know, just more of the same. Getting out there, doing a bit of hunting, leveling up my skills a bit. Though, honestly, with the fishing, I get the impression that I'm going to level up hunting stonkingly fast. That seems like a very, very uh, good source of hunting experience. Uh, but that is going to be it for now, I think. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Uh, we're on day two of 30. Yeah, it'll, it'll be less than 30 days, definitely. Uh, we are almost certainly going to defeat the... The meteorite. That being said, if if uh, a lot of the dapplings, uh, you know, fall into the treacherous clutches of the cult of the meteor, who knows? <laughs> Maybe we won't be getting rid of the meteor. Maybe we'll just watch the meteor strike the the uh, strike the Earth, and not leave much Earth left to strike. I guess. But that is going to be it from me. Thank you very much for joining me. It has been a massive pleasure. Look at Lady Shilab's like workshop. That has really come along. And of course, in this uh, in this stream, we set up our constitution. We actually founded the town, the Kingdom of Science. Ah, very happy with that. Senku would be proud, I'm sure. Now, uh, for those of you who've got a little bit of stream watching left in you, hang tight. I'm going to be finding some to raid. But if that is it for you for the the evening, uh, thank you very much for joining me. It has been a massive pleasure. Republic of Pangolin there, showing a bunch of redwoods that they've chopped down. Uh, and uh, I, hopefully I will see you in the next one. But until next time, take care, everyone. Bye.